everyone i welcome you back to our virtual learning session children today we are going to learn about political science as it is the branch of social science and in political science in the earlier standards you have dealt with learning about gram panchayat lok sabha rajya sabha about how our democratic government works and how democracy is important uh, for a government to function smoothly so today in our lesson what are we going to study is a very interesting topic so let us slide ahead to see what today's lesson has to offer us you can see the chapter's name role of government in health so we all know as individual how health is important to us we are aware about the immense you know uh, the importance of uh, being in good health being in good mental and physical health correct now how government plays a major role in it you know how government is going to get benefited because of because of our good health how it is going to be benefited only when the individual of the country is in a good healthy state he can contribute his part of say paying tax yes that particular contribution will go to the country from its citizens part so it is the major responsibility of the government to take care of its citizens yes now you understood how the health the citizens health is the prior thing for the government and how the government plays the role to protect the same setting ahead children we will see the importance and the aspects of the role of the government in health you can see the introduction of the chapter you can see to my right hand side two children are together they are running you can see various types of uh, picture put into a collage where you can see a uh, mother is cooking on the road side where she is feeding her children who are sitting down you can see over here where uh, people uh, you know uh, who have a uh, good money they are standing in the stall they are actually purchasing some items you can see over here uh, children are standing in the queue to fill water you can see the a uh, government hospital where the patients are lying so this all aspects comes under government government does not only have the you know a responsibility to see only into the health sector it has to cover all the sectors all these major sector to uh, you know uh, give an individual a good shape so that his contribution is been counted in the growth of his country let us start role of the government in health in a democracy people expect the government to work for their welfare yes people do expect the government to work for their good being for their welfare this could be through the provision of education good education people do expect the government does provide good basic education to the children second is health employment housing or the development of roads this all comes into consideration children electricity etc in this chapter we shall examine the meanings and problems related to health look at the subheadings of this chapter the subheadings are the collages made over here in what ways do you think this topic is related to the work of government this collage they all have scattered this right how this collage is making you to help to think that government has a major role to play in this collages 
can see as I told you that the mother is sitting on the street and making food. You can see the food becomes unhygienic, right? If the food is unhygienic, the children who are, you know, consuming that food, obviously they are going to become ill. Yes, then uh, we can see the part of the upper collage where children are filling water in the filthy area. So, how that particular filthy area is going to affect the health of the children. So, government has to look into the broader aspect about the health of the people. Let's go ahead. What is health? What is the meaning of health? We can think of health in many ways. Health means our ability to remain free of illness and injuries. But health isn't only about disease. You may have associated only some of the situations in the above, above collage with health. What we often ignore is the fact that each of the above situations is related to health. The above situations, the collage which you saw in the last slide, right? That was related to health. We discussed it in the last slide. Apart from disease, we need to think of other factors that affect our health. For example, if people get clean drinking water or a pollution-free environment, they are likely to be healthy. Yes, uh, I just uh, showed you the example over there. Yes, uh, where we saw. You can uh, see over here, the uh, children are actually, uh, over here you can see the children, they are uh, filling water in the filthy area. The mother is serving food in it unhygienic place. This, this happens because they are in a poor state. So government should work in all these aspects children. So this was what we were talking about. So for example if people get clean drinking water or a pollution free environment they are likely to be healthy. On the other hand if people do not get adequate food enough food to eat or have to live in cramped conditions they will be prone to illness if uh, they do not have enough food to eat or if they are you know forced to live in cramped conditions for example if a family is living in a slum area the house is very small so the members who are in the family they live uh, together in a cramped way. There is no extra space. So if one gets ill, the other gets ill simultaneously. All of us would like to be active in good spirits in whatever we may be doing. It isn't healthy to be dull, inactive, anxious or scared for long stretches of time. We all need to be without mental strain. We just spoke about this. Uh, individual has to be sound in both the ways. He has to be sound in the mental aspect also. Where he has to be fit from the brain part. The uh, brain in the sense you should not affect, uh, you know, oh, sorry. You should not allow your um, feelings to rule your brain. So you have to be mentally fit along with your physical fitness taking into consideration. All of these various aspects of our lives are part of health. So uh, you can see the collage over here that defines the broader meaning of health. Let us slide ahead. Further, we will study about healthcare in India, children. Where to the left hand side, you can see the positive points of our country and to the right hand side you can see the improving points not the negative but it has to improve so taking with the first point of the positive aspect india has the largest number of medical colleges in the world and is among the largest producers of doctors approximately 15000 new doctors qualify every year so the first point in the positive section says 
थाउजेंड न्यू डॉक्टर्स आर बेन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इंडिया और दे आर क्वालिफाइड इन इंडिया एवरी ईयर सेकेंड हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज हैव ग्रोन सब्सटैंशियली ओवर द इयर्स इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी देर वेर ओनली टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन हॉस्पिटल्स सो इन द इयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी देर वेर ओनली टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन हॉस्पिटल्स इन इंडिया बट इन द इयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन देर वर हॉस्पिटल्स यू कैन सी द ग्रोथ ओवर इन टू the number grew to 18218 you can see the substantial growth over here children india gets a large number of medical tourists from many countries means the people who stay in foreign countries they come to uh, india for their treatment as well they come for treatment in some of the hospitals in india that compare with the best in the world india is the fourth largest producer of medicines in the world and is also a large exporter of medicine in uh, the covid-19 situation hydrochlorine tablets are exported in much number to all over the countries around so this was the positive points going to the points that needed to be improved in a country most doctors settle in urban areas people in rural areas have to travel long distances to reach a doctor so why do they settle in urban areas to earn money because they have already invested so much money to study medical now they have only the point to earn money but as a doctor every doctor should have a broader view of perception one should look um, every person as the asset of the country so people in the rural areas have to travel long distances to reach a doctor the number of doctors with respect to the population is mu is much less in the rural areas so the urban areas there is much facility the medical facility and the amount of doctors are also much compared to the doctors in the rural areas means the population of the village is more compared to the ratio of the doctors present over there about 5 lakh people die from tuberculosis every year this number is almost unchanged since independence so since independence the uh, thinking process is the same doctors good doctors can be found only in the city areas but this aspect should be changed the doctors should have the tendency to reach to the people in the urban areas as well sorry to the rural areas as well uh almost 2 million cases of malaria are reported every year and this number isn't decreasing we are not able to provide clean drinking water to all 21% of all communicable diseases are water borne example diarrhea worms hepatitis etc so because of this uh, you know uh, facility not been provided the clean drinking water facility not been provided the water borne diseases exists that is diarrhea worms and hepatitis that is communicable disease children half of all children in india do not get adequate food to eat and are undernourished undernourished they if they do not get quality food to eat obviously they are not going to be nourished in the well manner so they are always undernourished so uh, i hope you have understood this differences where the left hand side shows us how india has emerged as a medical leader and the right hand side shows us the uh, points to be improved people have to be reached in the rural areas let us slide ahead children so going ahead we will see the uh, aspect 
streets of the cities where uh, good medical facilities are been provided and where in the villages the medical facilities is not been provided in a good condition let us see in order to prevent and treat illness we need appropriate health care facilities such as health centers hospitals laboratories for testing ambulance services blood banks etc so this all aspect you know comes into consideration where a good hospital comes into existence that can provide the required care and services that patients need in order to run such facilities we need health workers nurses qualified doctors and other health professional who can advise diagnose and treat illness where we saw india produces 50000 15000 uh, new doctors new qualified doctors every year so along with it they uh, you know along with uh, the uh, laboratories ambulance service uh, the blood banks we need the health workers nurses qualified doctors and other health professional who can advise diagnose and treat the illness we also need the medicines and equipment that are necessary for treating patients these facilities are required to take care of us india has a large number of doctors clinics and hospitals the country has considerable experience and knowledge in running a public health care system this is a system of hospitals and health centers run by the government so as we studied earlier in this slide india has a large number of doctors because the ratio is increasing year by year it has the clinics and hospitals as well the country has also considerable experience and knowledge in running a public health care system this is a system of hospitals and health care centers run by the government it has the ability to look after the health of large section of its population scattered over hundreds of thousands of villages we will go into more detail on this later moreover there has been a phenomenal advancement in medical sciences whereby many new technologies and treatment procedures are available in the country so this paragraph gives us the you know much important aspect about the uh, instruments about the laboratories about the blood banks and the experts the uh, health ex experts say the uh, good qualified doctors along with the nurses and uh, with the government uh, with the cooperation of the government the proper medical systems you know emerge in a much ethical way however in the second column points this is this two points were been discussed for the positive aspects where the second uh, column we saw right in the last slide uh, we discussed about the points which had to be improved upon however the second column points out how poor the health situation in our country is with the about positive developments we are not able to provide proper health facilities to the people we just saw in the last slide how the village people are been left out and how they have the you know um, uh, weak point to travel from their village to the city for any emergency they are facing this is the paradox something that is contrary to what we would expect our country has the money knowledge and people with experience but cannot make the necessary health care available to all so we just discussed it 
the government along with the doctors they should have the broader mind of aspects in treating everybody equal in this chapter we will look at some of the reasons for this i i hope till here you understood children initially we started uh, with uh, the um, healthcare system where in the collage where we saw uh, you know a mother is making food for her children sitting on the road side where we saw some of the children are standing near the water tank to fill the water but the area is filthy and that leads to diseases as well they are um, malnourished because the food which they are getting is not hygienic then we came to the uh, government aspects where we studied the positive and the improvement points as well we studied this in detail through this slides where uh, each and every concept is been taken into consideration it is not one way process children medical industry cannot run on its own the government has its major role to play to reach to the people through the medical uh, you know a system it has to work on the medical system the government hospitals are very well developed nowadays but then to improvements are needed as uh, people have to be treated you know accordingly everybody has to be treated equally going to the next slide we will uh, see a short story let's go ahead so going ahead children we will read a story about two friends aman and ranjan the story's name the cost of a cure aman and ranjan are good friends while ranjan comes from a well to do family aman's parents have to struggle to make ends meet so in the starting we come to know ranjan comes from a rich family while his friend aman comes from a poor family let us see the story hi aman good to see you back how ha how has you been i had viral fever and had to go to hospital oh me too i just got back to school on monday my daddy took me to see the doctor at the new hospital in kingsway it was very exciting so here we can see that uh, ranjan is a well to do child while aman is a poor child ranjan is asking aman hi good good to see you back how have you been where he is been answered who ranjan is been answered by aman that aman had fever and he had to go to hospital for that ranjan too says that he too went to hospital because he was not well and he uh, went with his father to the new hospital in kingsway and he told that it was very exciting the building looked so posh i thought it was a five star hotel daddy said that was because it was a private hospital with the best facilities you note the word private children where the hospitals are private the expenses are more for the facilities they give daddy had to pay rupees 500 at the reception counter itself before we even met the doctor there was nice music playing and everywhere was really clean and shiny so uh, this boy ranjan is speaking about the incident when he went with his father to the private hospital the doctor asked for many tests but everyone was so friendly the lady who took my blood for testing told me so many jokes that i forgot to feel the pain after the test results came we went back to the doctor he looked through them and said everything was fine and i only had viral fever 
he prescribed lots of medicines and rest so ranjan is expri- uh, you know he is um, narrating his experience to aman how he experienced at the private hospital doctor's place now let us see ahead uh how aman deals with the doctor let us go ahead you see i have been dying to tell you all about it but what about you which hospital did you go to now who is asking to whom ranjan is asking to aman now aman is replying hmm it wasn't as nice as yours at all at first abba didn't want to take me because he said it would take too much time and it really did because they went to government hospital we went to a big government hospital we had to wait in long queue at the opd counter i was feeling so sick that i had to lean on abba all the time when our turn came the doctor examined me and asked for a blood test then we had to go and stand in another long queue queue is line children people were crowding around in the testing room too we got the test results after 3 days and went back to the hospital there was a different doctor that day so the doctor tells show me his opd card the test results quickly please he seems to be suffering from a bout of viral fever nothing to worry about all he needs is this one fever reducing medicine my hospital was nice but they gave me too many medicines and the whole thing cost more than 3500 that much my treatment cost just rupees 150 so your the discussion of two friends that is ranjan and aman we saw where ranjan described his hospital premises where the uh, private hospital was clean and the doctor examined there was no rush as such right and um, he uh, he and his father went inside he was been examined and uh, in the reception itself his father paid 500 rupees then he enjoyed the blood test where uh, nothing much came he was suffering from just a simple fever now while ranjan asks aman how his experience was aman tells him that his experience was very different from ranjan he told that uh, his father uh, did not want to take him because it would take much time as it was the government hospital we all know in government hospitals the charge is less but we have to wait there in the long long queue then aman tells that uh, has you got your blood report on the same day we went there to collect my blood report after 3 days so after 3 days the government hospital did give aman's blood report so after seeing the blood report uh, the doctor told nothing to worry and he just gave the fever reducing medicine where he was uh, charged only rupees 150 who aman has he went to the government hospital but in case of ranjins he was charged more than 3500 because he went to the private hospitals so there is a major uh, difference children you know uh, taking cleanliness into part the private hospitals do charge much because they uh, stand into the aspect of earning from 
whoever comes for treatment but going to government hospital government hospital for is for all for the rich and the poor there you know there is the uh, entity of uh, the much crowded area because people most probably prefer the people who are uh, you know from the middle class families they all prefer to go to the government hospital so that they are a pocket is not burned with the much bigger bills so today till here we have learned children the points we have covered we have understood what is health why health is important yes and uh, how government plays a vital role in um, keeping its citizens healthy because health leads to wealth as we discussed earlier then we study the uh, pros and cons of uh, the um, you know uh, pros and cons of the medical uh, system and their structure uh, then we saw how people are being uh, treated in the government hospital and in the private hospital children so today we have learned this much concepts in the further lecture we will study the remaining parts so until then this is your social science teacher bidding you bye and thanking you to join my session until i meet you next time stay fit stay safe thank you children